life and art. Art and life. They both imitate and inform each other. Now, I know that it has not gone unnoticed within these circles that both myself and my lifelong collaborator, Beanie Montague, have taken a step back from the art world recently. But don't worry, we're not disappearing completely. We're both just moving on to new chapters in both of our stories. Now, unfortunately, Beanie could not be here with us today, but we do both have a few thoughts that we'd like to share with you all on this transition that we both happen to be making right now. I'd like to start by showing a piece that many of you may recognize and remember. It is, of course, our prize-winning collaboration from Berlin in 2001. When I consider everything that grows, holds in perfection but a little moment, that this huge stage presenteth naught but shows, whereon the stars in secret influence comment. When I perceive that men as plants increase, cheered and checked even by the self-same sky, Vaunt in their youthful sap, at height decrease, and wear their brave state out of memory. Then the conceit of this inconstant stay sets you most rich in youth before my sight, where wasteful time debateth with decay to change your day of youth to sully night. Increase. And all in war with time for love of you. As he takes from you, I engraft you new. But wherefore do not you, a mightier way, make war upon this bloody tyrant, time, and fortify yourself in your decay with means more blessed than my barren rhyme? Now stand you on the top of happy hours and many maiden gardens yet unset, with virtuous wish would bear your living flowers much liker than your painted counterfeit. So should the lines of life that life repair, which this, time's pencil or my pupil pen, neither in inward worth nor outward fair can make you live yourself in eyes of men. To give yourself away keeps yourself still, and you must live drawn by your own sweet skill. Thank you. <laughs> 